It was okay to ask for things. It wasn't too much trouble. They explained everything to me. So I gradually relaxed and I understood what was going on. It's safe, you know, it's just... They know what they're doing. They were going to breathe for me. And, you know, that was just a very lovely feeling. It was my first experience and I found it all, when I got there, overwhelming because I don't know straight the way what was going on for the first two or three days because I felt so ill. Nobody came when you rang the bell. Sometimes you were ringing the bell because you were going to be sick and there was nothing for you to be sick in. People seemed to come and go past you all the time and I honestly didn't know what was happening to me. People rushing around so much day and night, it never stopped, it never stopped. One day they give me two tablets, another day another one would give me five tablets, another day somebody gave me six tablets. Then they give me one tablet, and like I was, as I say, some days I just didn't even know what tablets I was taking. I, I was really getting worried now, um, because nobody seemed to listen to me. And I knew, in my heart of hearts, it was something to do with my heart. And that's because of the way I was breathing. I was starting to feel that I was dying. You know, I was struggling to take another breath. Fear, anxiety, confusion. Hospitals and medical centres across the UK are being impacted by the pandemic, a reduction in budgets, failures in communication, workforce crisis, lack of resources and conflicting priorities. For patients, safety is created in their interactions with staff through reassurance. When they feel they can trust the hospital and staff to care for them while they're at their most vulnerable. Involvement. When they get regular information around what is happening. Patients want to play a role in keeping themselves safe, but they need information to do so. Self-care when they're able to have an element of control over their self-care, such as routines and preferences. A listening ear, when they feel confident in speaking up when they have concerns, knowing that staff are there to listen. When these simple things happen, patients can work together with staff to improve the safety of their own care. To find out more or to have your say, head over to our website. <laughs>